This video is about how to test your spindle bearing to see if it needs to be adjusted and ensure you have it uh, with the correct amount of play in it if you've had your lathe disassembled. In my case, I had the spindle out and I've just put it back in. My cap screws are still loose. So I'm gonna check to see how, what play I have on the spindle and if it needs to be adjusted at some point. Uh, according to the South Bend Service Manual, you want between one thou and two thou of play on the spindle, vertical movement. Um, if you have less than one thou, you're not gonna have enough room for the oil coating, the oil film that forms around the spindle as it spins around, right? Because this is uh, an older machine, lots of oil everywhere. If you have over two thou, you're gonna have a lot of play and you have accuracy issues. Um, on these lathes, on the South Bend lathes, I should say in general, right here is a shim pack. So if you're far enough out of adjustment, these shims are about two thou thick, or that's what South Bend Service Manual says. So what you do is you take that pack out, you peel off a, sh peel off a shim, put the pack back in, and theoretically, you have two thou less in there, and you should be able to tighten it by, by increments of two thou. So let's, uh, let's see what we have. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten up this cap screw, like so. Just snug it up. You don't need to reef on it. If uh, if you have a lot of play there, you're just gonna have to adjust it. There's no sense uh, smashing that cap screw down and messing up your threads. The next thing you're gonna need is a test bar. So I have a, uh, it's a breaker bar right here. You're gonna stick it in your spindle bore and you're gonna lift straight up on it and you're gonna see how much play you have. This, this dial indicator right here, is, this test indicator is what we're gonna look at. So I'm gonna lift it up. We got about two thou. Yeah, I got about two thou there. So I'm right on the edge of needing to be adjusted. Because the shims are two thou thick, if I adjust it, peel two thou off, I'm gonna be at zero, so it's too little. So what I'll do is I'm gonna wait until it has a little more play in it, uh, or if I'm actually starting to notice accuracy issues, and then I'll come back and I'll adjust this. When I do that, I'll make a video about getting in here the shim pack, delaminating them, and uh, readjusting it. So this was a video on how to do it on the bearing. This is the front bearing. The back spindle bearing needs to be adjusted the same way as well. There's no sense in making a video, it's the same procedure. Set up your test indicator, put something in the bore, lift up. If you're between one and two thou, you're within proper range. If you're outside that, you need to adjust it.